a couple of YouTube videos. I've been trying to throw, learning about centering, and I have a few items. None of them even has been disfired yet because I don't have my kiln set up. So the first thing that I did was this. <laughs> I was trying to make a coffee cup. Instead, I was like, oh, let's make some kind of a pour out cup. I attempted a handle, and as you can see, it broke off. Uh, I know it was too thin. Another thing that I did wrong with this prior to the handle breaking off was I hadn't watched videos about the bottom yet. And so whenever I went to try and make the bottom all nice and putting the little lip and all of that, the handle stuck out too much. So I had to cut the handle a little bit here and there and guess what happened? It broke. So that's my first one. I, I don't I don't know what this is. <laughs> Basically what it is, it's very uncentered, as you can see. Could not do the bottom whatsoever. Um, you can actually see that it's uncentered, it's unstable, it's probably gonna break in the kiln, but we'll just have to wait and see. It was supposed to be a plate. Yay! I made a plate when I was supposed to make a plate. So a couple of problems I have with this for one. I was able to do the bottom. I was very proud of myself. I think I did a pretty good job on all of that. It's very thick. As you can see, it's got dings. My fingernails love to ding into stuff whenever it's still drying. And then after it got bone dry, I went to go and pick it up. As you can see, it has a little lip right here. I must have made that a little too thin and it broke. So, still learning. Again, it was supposed to be a cup. And then, you know how the bot, the top, sometimes when you make it too thin, it just wobbles and then it breaks down because the, thin, the walls are too thin, that's what happened. So I put the other clay aside to work and do something else with it. And I just made this. It can be a cup holder, I guess, or a little change saucer or some. A work in progress but as you can see I'm still getting a little bit better at the trimming the bottom ah, I made a mug it's a very small mug I would probably say it's about a six or an eight ounce mug and I got a handle I don't want it to break before I get it bisque fired only problem with this one is the bottom uh, I think I made it too thin and so I wasn't able to trim a whole lot off the bottom, but I am happy that I got a handle on it. Uh, as you can see though, it's not the smoothest looking thing. Um, you'll find that a lot of my stuff tends to lip out. I don't know, I guess that's gonna be one of my knacks. This, which is very, very cute. Um, I was trying to actually reproduce that cup, but um, every time I try and do something more than once, it turns into something else so so this is probably going to I'm probably gonna take this and put some fake flowers and fake dirt in it and make it a pot like a flower pot that you could put on your desk so I got the top right here smooth and then I got some little lines in it um, I was very excited about the way that this bottom kind of turned out too it's narrow right here and then I went in a little bit so I like that and another cup attempt 
and it turned out to be this. I guess I'm getting a little bit better. Um, the bottom on this one is amazing. I love the way that I did this one's bottom. I'm kind of curious when I fire all this if it's going to be like explode. I don't know. A little teacup. And I just put the handle on it just a minute ago. I'm hoping that works. It's kind of a little too big. I'm still don't know a whole lot about handles. So if y'all want to tell me some tips and tricks, I don't know. Now, today I decided to trim the bottom and I get kind of excited and want to do that stuff before I really should. So what happened? This. Oh, doesn't that look like an amazing bottom? Yeah, well, whenever I was trying to cut out, I was like, man, it's going in pretty deep, but I didn't want it that deep in the center. Yeah, this is why. Oh, can you see it there? There you can see it. It's because it wasn't trimming it at all. It was just pushing it in because I put it in too soon. <laughs> Started trying to trim it too soon. And so now, you can see I have this little bubble on the inside. That's what I'm doing. I'm learning. I tried to make a big bowl. Again, I say I tried to make a big bowl. But something else happened. And it's exciting. It's exciting. I got a plate. Can y'all see that? A plate. A big dinner plate. This is my first dinner plate. Uh, it's kind of sloppy out right here because it's still too soft for me to go in and smooth it out. And you can probably see it like it's lopsided because it started to get too heavy and it started to fall. That's why instead of a big bowl, it's a plate. Um, the center right here is very thin. So when it comes to trimming the bottom, I don't know how well I'm gonna do with that. That's it, that's what I've done so far. So as a new potter that's never really learned before, um, I obviously have mistakes. So I'm gonna show you a couple of the mistakes that I have made because uh, we can't learn unless we learn from our mistakes, right? So here are a few of the, the, the pieces that I really liked um, that I had made, but they broke or there was other issues with them. So I'm gonna show you what those are. Okay, so here are some of the mistakes I've made. Um, there was this, I was gonna make it into a flower pot. I absolutely loved the shape that I had made, but when I began to trim it, Dun, da, da, da. As you can see, I couldn't center it properly, so it was gouging into all of the. It wasn't make it, it wasn't center. So because it wasn't center, it wasn't making a good smooth circular motion. And then I found this. Um, I'm guessing that's some kind of air pocket, or the clay was not all together. It was a pocket right there. So. I, it is a piece that I will recycle at some point. I'm learning about recycling, so I have a couple of pieces that we're going to recycle. It was this plate. Oh, how beautiful this plate is. I absolutely loved it. I did so well on it. I trimmed it right, but I didn't make it thick enough. So when I was trimming it, the clay, it just poked right through. So that is why you need to leave enough clay at the bottom so that it doesn't leave you a hole. 